I have exclusive info from Polarium that almost certainly guarantees that this is a Chimera clan boss. What's up guys, MTG Jedi here. How you doing today? I am very confused actually about why this clan boss is a Chimera because I thought it was supposed to be a tentacle monster. But... I'm still very excited about that because I love this mythical creature. A chimera is a lot of different possibilities. You know, like with this mythical creature, there's not just one thing that it can be. A chimera is basically a lion with wings that has other animals as additional parts of it typically it has multiple heads in this picture which i think is the best picture i could find it has a serpent's tail but the thing that impresses me the most the thing that i'm most excited about is that there's not good actual art of this fantasy beast in my opinion and certainly i've never seen one graphically animated tell me i'm wrong but like <clears throat> is there anywhere that you have ever seen this fantasy beast in 3d i can't think of anywhere i mean maybe i just haven't seen it but i'm super super excited about this so i wanted to record this video because plarium sent me some of the skills of the ram okay i don't have the whole thing and i'm talking to the other content creators maybe we'll do a video collaboration or something be on the lookout for that as of now there's nothing set up for that but i would like there to be <laughs> so we'll see but i'm gonna do my part i'm gonna record this video and show you what i have so here is what i have right now the ram form okay so this pretty much guarantees that this is a chimera right because we have the serpent form from yesterday and the ram form for today uh i do have the serpent form image posted in my discord so make sure you join there and go take a look at that if you didn't get to see it we were talking about it yesterday on stream so i have deduced something very interesting from the information that i have now obviously i don't have the whole kit i only have part of the two passives i have pat wait there's three passives huh i have part of passive four and passive two i think but i wanted to start with this because yesterday we found out that the serpent form can be block active skilled we can put block active skills on the serpent form but we can't put block active skills on the ram form. So if we wanted to use single target block active skills, that will work if we're manualing. Otherwise, we would want AoE just so that it hits the right head. And so I'm going to guess that we don't want to manual it unless the fight is short and it doesn't happen very often. But what's cool here is that do you see this list immune to guess what's not on that list fear and true fear so i think each of the heads will be able to be crowd controlled with some type of debuff that's different from each other so the serpents can be block active skills the ram can be feared does that mean that the lion head is going to be able to be put to sleep? I hope not. That will be annoying, okay? That will be annoying. But it could be something else. Like, maybe he could be stunned. I would like that. Let's do stun, okay? Because then my dude Karado will be living in victory. Okay, so we are also immune to all of the normal other things. And we have the poison caps which I'm just sad about. We need a good boss that can be poisoned. Like, we need a boss to use our poison champions and to be able to make new poison champions. Please, player him, add that to the game. Now here, this is very interesting. Reflected damage and damage taken from Warmaster and Giant Slayer 
can't exceed 100,000 HP. So I think that that's okay. That means Giant Slayer and War Master still work. There's just a cap. And I think that that's fine. Now, whatever is blurred out, I'm not going to try to read that. I'm not. Um, it's something about HP burn. I know that for sure. And I don't. I, I can't tell anything else. I think the middle one that's blurred out is the HP burn cap. But I can't, I'm not going to go through and try to deduce uh, and try to figure out uh, you know, Sherlock Holmes my way to figuring this out, especially when the other content creators already have the info, okay? Um, all right, so the next thing that I know is passive two. When the Chimera is under a fear or true fear debuff, there we go, the damage reduction from the duel does not activate. And if you scan to the bottom... At the beginning of the new clan boss's turn, places the dual effect on the clan boss and the enemy with the lowest crit damage. I mean, what does the dual effect do? I don't know. I don't. I really don't know. But we can manipulate who it targets based on the lowest crit damage, and it, the effect can't be resisted or blocked. So we're gonna need. At the opposite of a crit damage tank. Like for Phantom Shogun, we want the most crit damage. For the Ram form, we want the least crit damage. So that's interesting, but making it be a support champion is probably good anyway. But yeah, we're definitely going to have to manipulate that. And what that means is probably just put a crit damage amulet on everyone except for the one that you want to be used here. So that's very, very interesting. Okay, and last but not least, increases the turn meter whenever a skill does not activate because of fear or true fear, which that's fine. That's a way to use fear, but then also not be, you know, completely hosed by fear. And I love when Plarium adds ways into the game to use champions who we never get to use. Like a lot of these block active skill champions that I was talking about in this morning's video. Oh man, that is sweet. That is Vault Warriors. For years, Vault Warriors were going to bust out for block active skills. And that's probably the same for Fear and True Fear. So if you want me to do a video on all the best fear and true fear champions in the game, hit me up in the comments. If I get a bunch of people saying that, I'll definitely do that for tomorrow's video. Um, make sure you go back and watch today's video on the block active skill champions and come hang out on stream because I'm sure we're going to be talking about all of this as soon as I'm allowed. Um, thank you so much for Plarium including me on this. I really appreciate this. It's, uh, I love this sort of thing, engaging with us content creators, spreading all of this new stuff to the community. It is wonderful. That's all the info that I have personally. Now I need to go pester the other content creators to set something up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.